Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jess. We're at the Sweet 16, and right behind me, it's kind of dark. It's that tiny house right there, and I need to get to work on it. I just got done finishing all the fascia board and getting some paint on those. And today, I'm also going to put a band all the way around the whoa, the loft right there. Uh, that's going to be the ending point for the siding above. It's going to have a drip edge on it and everything like that. And then the siding from the bottom will come up and then that'll be the ending point for the bottom siding. So just a band of two by sixes going around just to kind of break the top siding from the bottom siding because the top is going to be board and bat and the bottom is probably going to be some kind of siding horizontal. So it'll have two different kinds of siding on it and uh, hopefully it'll look really cool. But I'm getting hot already. I could sit out here and yak all day, you guys already know that, but I gotta get to work. It's time to get to work.
Guys, have y'all been hearing that thunder, man? I think it is fixing to rain. So I'm gonna do a quick look around in case it does start raining, make sure I get my stuff put up. And uh, if it does rain, we'll just let it pass and then get back to work. Guys, it is freaking raining hard right now. I barely got my stuff put up just in the nick of time and hopped in the truck, man. But this is a great opportunity. I've been filming for the new channel, Just Jess, and I've really been wanting to lay down a Q&A. And I'm laid up right now as far as working goes, so what better time than now to bust out with a brand new Q&A. I got a list right here on my phone I've been saving, so hang on, just give me a couple minutes. All right, question number one. Somebody asked who won the Sonic drink giveaway where I was giving away the gift card and the free shirt and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the answer is Mama V won it from Possum Run Homestead and the answer was Coke Zero. Question number two. I had a question all the way from New Zealand. Thank you, New Zealand. You probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, I don't mention any names. Just feel free to email me any questions you might have I'm never gonna use your username or nothing like that on YouTube on my Q&A on my channel or anything like that unless you specifically ask me to then we're all good question number two is what are you gonna build after you get the tiny house done the short answer is another tiny house so that's what we're gonna be building next and uh, I'm just gonna keep moving on you know what I'm saying so eventually we want to live out here we got to have several things built before that time will come, and uh, I'm just going to keep rocking and rolling. So the answer, New Zealand, is another tiny house. Question number three. Question number three comes from a user in Canada. They asked, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And I thought about this answer, did a little research, and the answer to how much wood could the woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck could chuck wood is 16. Next question, when are you going to launch your new channel? That's a great question. Uh, the answer for launching the new channel is in a couple of weeks. Next question, are you going to do any how-to on the new channel? I've done how-to for a long time. I actually have a how-to channel right now that I've had for a really long time, longer than this channel. And um, yeah, I think I will be doing some how-to on the new channel. Um, I'll also be doing some reviews, product reviews, tool reviews, um, things, things associated with how I live my life. You know, tools, work boots, um, things that could help me out here on the Sweet 16, products that I need um, for doing what I do. So yeah, I'm going to be doing how-to and product reviews, so you guys be looking out for that. Next question, have you ever played Santa Claus at Christmas time? And the answer is no, I have not. But I got a really good buddy, his name is Brian, that needs to. Let me show you a photo. That's a pretty good one. Okay, the next question is simple. Do you think you'll have the tiny house done by Christmas? I don't know. I mean, I just work on the tiny house in my spare time. You know what I mean? So whenever I can get up here and work is when I get up here and work. I still hold down a full-time job until I get to the point where I'm full-time content creator, can afford to be here every day, just make Sweet 16 be my job. Right now, it's just get up here when I can, do as much stuff as I can, and uh, however long that takes is however long it takes. But that's a great question, and that's a really good goal, and uh, maybe I'll get there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right now, it's just focusing on getting this dude enclosed. Um, I'm preparing the loft area 
for the siding, which you guys have been seeing me do all that, and uh, siding, windows, trim, paint, and then I'm going to be ready to take the scaff down. And once I do that, I'm going to just be working on the enclosing of the bottom part. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at right now. And uh, Christmas, that was a good question. Next question. This is a good one. This one come from Minnesota. Okay. Uh, user from Minnesota. Thank you for sending in your question. Question is, do you have any advice for somebody that is trying or thinking about building a tiny house um yeah I do have advice one of the best things that I've done on this tiny house and it's gonna sound kind of silly but just hear me out one of the best things that I did building this tiny house was built that scaffolding which you guys know I call it scaff all the way around that thing Okay, I did a catwalk across the living room up high that connects to the catwalk going all the way around. It's got ramps going up and I can do circles around this tiny house. And um, in the beginning, I never even considered building scaffolding around it. But once I started getting high and I was trying to set my ladder up on the ground, my, I, it's built on a slope, right? And it's all rocky and rugged and everything. Um, I got up there a couple times on the ladder and it was so shaky that it, it just it was obvious that there was no way I was going to build all this uh, just working off of ladders. I mean it was just impossible. So building the scaff probably took me about uh, two and a half days I would say of, of time. Maybe two days. I mean I worked on it here and there. I think I worked one full day and then another half and then maybe another half and then it was pretty much done. Uh, I did build it all out of scrap wood and um, cedar posts that I cut right here on the Sweet 16. And uh, so I didn't have any money in building the scaff. But I mean, if you're going to build a two story tiny house, I recommend building scaff. Unless you just have like the perfect setup with nice flat ground and possibly just a scaffolding that you can roll around on. But it's an absolute game changer for me. And doing all of this alone um, and having a place to set my camera down to film for YouTube and stuff like that, it's just an absolute game changer. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit sad but a little bit happy when I have to tear down the scaff. And when I build the next tiny house, I'll be building scaff around that one too because just being able to get up there and work on the roof and set the ladder on the scaff to get up higher on the roof and stuff like that that stuff would have been impossible for me to do it's been a game changer for me having the scaff so that's my advice um i'm building with reclaimed material i mean you know it is harder you do dig through a lot of boards you got to pull nails um that's just how i chose to do it because it's cheaper you know, and I can just go tear a building down, get the wood for free, go through it, save what I want. Um, all of the scaff wood was built with reclaimed. A lot of the wood on the tiny house was reclaimed. The floor joists, um, lots of trim, and, and the whole structure for the loft, that was all reclaimed two by fours that I used to build that. And uh, that has saved money. So um, if your question is just advice in general, the scaff, take your time, uh, do it as good as you possibly can to your ability. Uh, just try to think things through because something you do today could affect you, you know, months down the road if you didn't get something um, exactly the right size or whatever. You know, just try to think it all through and um, just do it, man. Just do it. Just start and see what happens and just watch it come to life. But uh, do me a favor. Uh, Minnesota whenever you do it film it tag me because I want to see how your tiny house is coming along so that's a good question and uh, if you have questions for the next Q&A it's pretty much stopped raining now uh, just send me an email and maybe you'll get your question answered on the next segment of Q&A it's time for me to get back to work it's still raining I got out of the truck whenever I was in the truck doing that Q&A and kind of winding that down.
I wasn't really getting rain on the windshield anymore. I just kind of thought it quit raining, so I jumped out of the truck, and it was like a little trickling here and there. I was like, oh, this ain't no big deal. And then started getting my tools and stuff together, and it just started raining again. So I'm just sitting here in the tiny house. I was watching one of my favorite lives over at Full Blown Country with Pretty and Pooch. You guys check them out if you don't know about them. Full Blown Country. And uh, those are some of my friends. But, uh, yeah. I'm just in the tiny house and it's raining through this skylight up here. And as I was sitting here, I was kind of looking down at this floor and, um, you know, that's another good bit of advice was uh painting this floor i had somebody come up to me at a youtube meetup and he told me he said hey i really appreciate the tiny house build it's been fun watching it and he said i've never seen anybody paint a floor like you did and um i mean to me it was obvious i knew it was going to take a while for me to build this and I knew it was gonna rain a lot before I could get it enclosed and so getting paint on the floor to me was crucial because it's gonna save this OSB it's gonna keep it from bubbling up water damage all that kind of stuff and I'm looking around here right now and uh, it looks perfect it's fine I might even clean this thing up and put another coat on it but yeah that'd be another good bit of advice if you're not gonna get your tiny house in the dry like immediately like if i could have done that just built the walls and did all that and you know in a week i had it fully enclosed that'd be a different story but if it's something that's going to be sitting there for a long time and you know you're just going to be coming back and forth at it you know and just doing it as you can like how i've been doing put a coat of paint on it and that's going to keep a lot of that water from soaking up into your flooring and your plywood or osb or whatever it is you use for your floor so that's another little bit of advice as far as building a tiny house goes that's it i'm just gonna sit here and try to think of something else until this rain uh gets out of here and to be honest with you i haven't even looked at the radar yet so i'm gonna pull up the radar see about how long it's gonna take for this storm to blow over and uh we'll just go from there the best i can tell is gonna clear out around 2 p.m and it is it's 12 27 right now so i think i'm just gonna hang out and who knows maybe i'll just drive to sonic Yeah, can I get a corn dog and a small tot and a large Coke Zero? All right. can I get you else? Yeah, I need to get some mustard with that and some ketchup. That's it. All right, thank you. Ketchup for the tots, mustard for the corn dog. That's better. I got my camera. I got a <laughs> I got to show you guys this. I got my camera bag sitting here in the passenger seat. Then I got a box of halo lights sitting on top of that. Then I got a pack of gum. Then I got a granola bar propping up my camera so it's like the perfect angle of the car hop bringing the food for the shot, you know what I'm saying? I got to show you guys this and then I'll set it back up. 
Got my camera bag. Where's my finger? All right, got my camera bag right there. And that's a box of halo lights, then a pack of gum, then a granola bar. There we go. You gotta just do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Hey, how's it going? Doing good. Appreciate it. Have a good one. I think she might have known I was filming. I think she might have saw the camera, I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. Boom biggity. Pot spilled out, so I'm just gonna leave them in there. Let me pull the mustard and ketchup out. My mint, you know what I'm saying? Got my little mint right there. I love that mint. I love it. Sonic, thanks for the mint. Okay, we're good. So ketchup is kind of messy sometimes. So this is how I like to do mine. I just pull out a tot and then it's individual ketchup on each tot like that. And then everything stays nice and clean except these gloves, you know what I'm saying? Freaking good, man. And good for you. That was a pretty good close-up shot, wasn't it? All right, I'm just gonna turn this camera off now because uh, I feel like I'm being watched while I'm eating, and it's starting to kind of freak me out a little bit. So I'm just gonna turn it off and uh, eat my corn dog and stuff, and then we'll head back to Sweet 16. Look at this bad boy. absolute thing of beauty right there man check it out and if you don't have a sonic near where you live i'm sorry a little bit of advice to you guys if you do get a corn dog at sonic and you finish it like i have don't forget this right here don't forget this little crusty right here that little crusty that's like the leftover kind of batter on the stick that's the best part it's like it's like a little crusty bit of heaven you know it's almost like the dessert for the corn dog you know what I'm saying let's get back to the sweet 16 quiet on the set and action All right, guys, back at the Sweet 16, and it's time for me to get back to work right there on the tiny house. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off. Glad y'all are still here. Let's go get something done.
dang bug trying to get some of my sonic drink you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna yank this board off real quick cut it and then i'll slide that piece of cedar up in there and that's gonna cap out the end of that soffit All right, guys, so you saw this thick piece of cedar I put right there. That's going to be the end cap for the soffit. I'm going to jump around on the other side, do the same exact thing. I'm not going to film it. Shut this camera off for a second, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, got that other soffit capped off. Now I'm going to start working on this 2x6 and putting a drip edge right on the top of that, and then that'll be completely ready so that whenever I put my siding right here, it'll just come down, it'll hit that drip edge, and then it'll just push the water off away from the building so that's also going to be like the divider line between the top siding and the bottom siding i said that earlier but just in case you weren't listening that's what that band right there is all about it's kind of a divider line between top siding and bottom siding and i think it's gonna look awesome so i'm gonna get back to work guys that blade on the table saw is absolute toast guys I got my divider band I got my drip edge done and uh, all I need to do now is just fill the holes let that dry and then I can sand it down and paint
Guys, that's going to do it for the Tiny House Show. So glad y'all were here. Hey, do me a great big huge favor. A lot of y'all are watching, but you're not subscribed yet. Go smash that subscribe button. Give me a great big huge like if you liked any part of this video. And if you got anything to say, just drop it right there in the comments. That's all you got to do, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace. And if you like deleted scenes, just keep watching. And I'm, let me turn this exposure up a little bit. And today I'm also going to put a band all the way around the, wow. And it quit raining and it's time for me to come, and it quit raining and it's time for me to get back to work because I didn't come out here to mess around. Alright, that's it for the tots. Like I said, I do have a bonus french fry. It's not big though. Boom, right there. Okay. That's it for tots. Bonus french fry. Now it's time to move on to corn dog. Whoa. Alright, here we go. You gotta have the perfect curve, you know what I'm saying? Just like they show on the commercials. Look at this bad boy. Boom. That is the perfect mustard swirly, you know what I'm saying? Check that dude out. Mm. Oh man. One thing, one thing I like about getting corn dogs is they're cheap, they taste great, and they really don't have too many calories. And uh, calories are something that I need to be watching, you know what I mean? So this old boy, I think, is about to start going on a diet, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> the corn dog is 230 calories. And the tots, and the tots are 250. So, the corn dog and the tots together are 480 calories. So if you're a calorie counter, that's a 480 calorie lunch. I'm not including the bonus fry because that's hardly nothing. And I got the Coke Zero, so there's no calories there. So that's not too bad. And I'll be full. So you get filled up cheap and uh, not too many calories. So Sonic, thanks for helping out with my diet and my weight loss journey. No, but seriously, I mean, I go back, you know, and watch my footage and edit my videos and stuff. And I can't help but notice that I need to drop a few pounds. You know what I'm saying? So I am gonna make a mission to lose about 20 pounds and uh, I'm probably going to be talking about that on the new channel. So I've dealt with weight loss off and on for years and years and years. I used to be a lot bigger than I am now. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of success with it. Failures, roller coasters, just like everybody else. And um, you know, I'm not where I want to be. So I'm going to try to drop about 20. And um, thanks for listening. If that stuff interests you, just check it out on the new channel whenever I get that up and launched, which I did say earlier in a Q&A that that's going to be in a couple of weeks. And that'll just be something that I do on there occasionally, you know, uh, kind of talk about it and stuff like that and where I'm at and what my goals are and what I'm doing. So anyways, yeah. But for right now, I'm going to finish this corn dog. I almost stuck my self in the back of the throat with the end of the stick trying to get that one off you know what i'm saying but we'll catch y'all on the next video peace <laughs>